of us to say, you can't change the way I think about myself, but I can fix you. And that's why I say for Chachi, like, if people are throwing you... Please go away. If people are throwing advice at you and you didn't ask for it, fuck off, Felicia. Oh, I'm so excited, Reese. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. We're going we're gonna to watch it together. Pause! Did it pause? Stop. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like a spider. Oh. <gasps> But she's popping out the top. That is so weird. Dude. Chachi, you shouldn't be okay with receiving advice you didn't ask for, honey. You can control your ears. You owe nobody anything. You never owe anyone your attention. Ever. Anyone in your life. Your attention and your time is the most valuable thing you can give to anyone. Ever. Time is all you got, man. That's why I keep my phone on silent. I get to choose when I talk to people because I don't. you don't know anybody. That is the coolest thing ever. I'm watching it again. <coughs> That's like a tarantula. That's amazing. We're watching Reese's um, vampire crabs molt. Dude, are you able to take the molt out? Will it like be destroyed or could you dry it out and keep it? Just to look at it. This is so cool. Well, yeah, whenever they molt, it's the same with spiders. They're always really bright. Oh, do they eat it? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it in then. I usually leave mine in for a couple days because they'll eat their molts as well. My spooters. That's really cool. Man, it's just like a spider. It's like a little sea spider. Dude, look how bright Mercy is, though. I can't. I got to do my nails again like that. She makes me hate my nails. Now I just want to redo my nails really bad. I want my vampire crab colors back. <laughs> They're so pretty. I mean, what, right? Like, what? I mean, when I molt, I'm pretty bright, but I keep it to myself. Yep, I, some of mine do that. Like, some of them kick their molt out, and some of them munch on them. I leave it for a bit, just in case. Chachi, I love you, by the way, and I don't want to lecture you or anything, but I think you should, you should dole your time to people worthy of your time. And that goes for everybody. No one just deserves your time. Nobody. I firmly believe that. All right, I have an idea. Um, Let's do it. Let's make a new layer. Well, I'm going to do it right here. Yeah, the eye stem. It's so weird. That's like tarantulas. They molt their teeth. Vampire crab, don't you ever come near me or my son ever again. I can't stop watching. It's just so cool. Thank you, Reese, for letting us watch your video. It's really cool. I caught one of my spooters molting the other day, and I tried to get pictures, but my spooters are real small. And pop. Look at that eye. Look at the little eye. Do you see her little eye? Oh my god, did you see her looking around? I saw her little eye look out of the mold. That was precious. Oh, that's so cool, Reese. Thank you for sharing that. MMO, was it amazing? Yes. I'm happy you liked it. I love that kind of food. It's really good. Absolutely, Chachi. I do agree. It's not, I'm not telling you to not talk about it, of course. Always talk about stuff like that. But um, I also think it's important to value your own time. And it, there's nothing wrong with being a people pleaser, but realize who in your life is worth pleasing. You know, like um, I read this somewhere and I or heard it or something. 
someone said it. It was really insightful for me because I'm also very much a people pleaser as a healthcare person. We just are. And um, this person said, as a people pleaser or as a caregiver or that type of personality in general, you are a pitcher, like a pitcher, like a milk pitcher, you know? I don't know how that crosses across into Norwegian. You are a pourer. You are a full fucking Yeti. And if you are miserable, that is because you have effectively filled your life with people who are empty cups. And they will allow you to pour into them eternally. And they will never have anything to give back. You got to surround yourself with more full Yeti bottles. And pour back. It worked for me. I like thinking about stuff like that. Oh, Reese, you, I'm, a, I'm pretty fucking obnoxious about my spiders. I love you, Chachi. I deal with the same stuff. I just share my experiences. And if you can take something from it, awesome. And if not, awesome. Us empty vessels. I mean, my soul is devoid of things, but it's a black hole. It absorbs things and spits them out different. It's fine. I'm going to try to use the um, one of my tools to do this. One of my tools. Thank you guys for enjoying this artistic adventure with me, by the way. I very much appreciate you. And it's been very fun. A mm, little bit of jitter. Yeah. Tools. I like tools. My dog in the background. Oh, that's Lilith. Yeah, you see her. Hold on. All spread out on my carpet. She's adorable. Precious. Thank you, Vissy. I appreciate you hanging out with me while I stream. Because, uh, let's be real, who the fuck would stream with no one to hang out with? I wouldn't. I can't. I physically can't. I cannot be entertaining by myself. I need you guys. I lean on you. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for the follow, Julia. Welcome. Yeah, it is a Ouija carpet. I just got it in the mail. I ordered it like two months ago. Yeah, I got it to say, try to save the carpet because they battle on it all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, Goonies girl, thank you. You know what, though, Chachi? The fact that you can recognize all that makes you... Um, the likelihood of you succeeding at getting over it way higher. People who don't grow and change from past trauma are the ones that can't admit it happened. That was my biggest problem because no one else in my life would admit it happened. I kind of told myself it didn't happen. So I couldn't stop being the way I was. I had to admit to myself it was real. Even though everyone that I should trust in my life told me it wasn't real, I had to validate myself. And that was a big step for me. Because when everyone important in your life makes you feel crazy for be believing things, you don't trust your own mind anymore, ever. You start to just feel insane 24-7. But you got to trust your own brain, man. You have a beautiful brain, Chachi. She's in there screaming. Listen to me, cunt! You're so fucking dope! Ah! <laughs> Do you hear her? I can hear her. She's screaming. I love you! <laughs> but in Norwegian. <laughs> I'm sure that's what your inner brain is. I just can't speak Norwegian. I'm sorry. Do you think in English? That's interesting. Cool. Let me out! 
Sometimes I think in Russian for some weird reason. I'll remember stupid words like the word beautiful in Russian and use that instead, and then I'll stop myself. I don't know why that happens, because I am not Russian. Well, I took it in college, like, you know, it's, I ain't like Russian, Russian. Katie, you have a beautiful brain, Chachi, screaming internally. Laughs in Norwegian. <laughs> uh, I love you, Chach. I don't want my family my family hurting. You don't deserve to hurt. You too cool for... My phone's actually ringing like a real phone. I hate this. What kind of circus hell is this? No. I don't know. <laughs> well, to be honest, since I got this new phone, I don't think I even set a ring because I just leave my phone on silent 24 seven. For real, I don't think I ever set a ring and that's a horrible sound. I hated it. I'm gonna mute it. That was, no, mute. Never again should that ever be a sound that I should hear. Hell, that was a hellscape. Whew. Who calls people on the phone? It's all trash calls. Every single fucking call is a goddamn trash call. All of them. It's all spammers trying to get me to buy car insurance or freak out about my student loan or something. Yeah, dirt. I like if I need a call, I put it on vibrate. But again, that is limiting my time and my attention to myself. And I get to choose when I dose that out to anybody. And I choose to dose that out to people I love, like Chachi. Um, let's do freehand. No, I wanted to do this. Um, Oh, it's only doing to that layer. That's interesting. I don't want to add it to that layer. Undo fill. Get out of this. Get out of this. Thank you. Um, I don't remember what I wanted to do to it. Oh, well. Come hither, my spither. Holy shit, we are near a break time. How does this happen so fast? It's arting. Yep, big green, I get them all the time. All the time. And I just ignore them now because they made me scary. I don't know. The day is weird and it flies when I do arting and I don't know how because I, is it just me? I don't know. I want to copy this layer before I put it in. Giggity. Actually, let's put it in. Giggity. God damn it, Katie. Quit saying giggity. Giggity. And we're going to shift that bitch. Make her smaller. Oh, God. Giggity. I hate it. Why do I say giggity? You know I don't even like Family Guy. <laughs> I'm a poser. I should never use giggity. But I use it all the time. Nope. Please don't do that. Thank you. Nope. Don't do that either. Thanks so much. For being a dick. Okay, then we're gonna do distort.
That looks right. Sick. Right? Hell yeah. My new phone sounds weird. What kind of phone did you get? Yeah, it's already almost one o'clock here. I just don't understand what's happening. I love you, Chachi. Drink some water and get some fresh air before you sit and do wow, okay? Will you promise me that, Chachi? Will you promise me? Drink a glass of water and just like open a door and stand in the cold air and like get it in your face. Promise. Promise me, please. Because you love me. Peace. I love you, Eliza. Have a good meeting. Thank you, Trachi. I love you. I would never use our friendship against you unless it was, you know, for a health thing like this. That looks good. <gasps> I would love to. The Motorola is as bare as it comes. <laughs> Giggity. I don't use any of the bells and whistles. I just want a good camera. Happy Friday the 13th, Eliza. Let's cheers, Leah. Let's cheers Chachi out into the cold. Whenever I feel heavy, I'm I get in some fucking cold air, walking outside barefoot and drinking a glass of water. Even if it's the smallest tiny bit, it makes me feel better. Today, never forget to take, and your, take joy, your joy. And I guarantee your day will go as smooth as velvet. Cheers, everybody. Chachi, that's what I'm here for. I love you. That's what friends do. We make each other laugh and feel dumb and funny. <coughs> Grounding is real. Dude, Artistic Gypsy, not even shitting you. Whenever I travel somewhere far away, first thing I do when I get to my hotel and stuff is try to go walk outside in the grass barefoot. I think it has something to do with like your magnetic like the earth in your dineural, like making you sleep at the right time. It's legit. I don't think we touch earth enough or the, or nature enough. I think there's a separation that's kind of fucking our heads up or something. Or I'm a big fat hippie. Nobody knows. Or yes. I just, you know what, Chachi? That is a perfect amount of time to drink a tall glass of water. Wow. Jake will be munching and snorting, and you'll be sitting there drinking the lifeblood of your entire body, and then you'll go out into that air and get smacked. I bet you'll feel better. <gasps> oh, Lofius. Well, obviously, within reason. I'm a hippie in disguise. Me too. I'm a super hippie. But not super, super, but kind of a hippie. The nothing, dude. Otnerap, I've... It's Voldemort. He's coming. You know, Kill, I um, mentioned to Zeke earlier, I was like, you know, I'm just tossing this thought out there. This is not like a permanent thing. I just want you to think about it. Do you think it's wise that we go see your grandma and your mom who are all of the, uh, you know, the age? So he's thinking, we're thinking. I don't want to kill anybody. You know? We have Jim. Jim. 
Oh my god, I should draw Jim. Should we add Jim to this? Really, Nemo? That's smart. I mean, we were going to get one, but the thing is, we were going to get a COVID test and then drive to Montana from Denver, which is, I mean, it's like a nine-hour drive. It's not that terrible, but we will have to stop and get gas and food and whatnot, and truck stops are dirty. Everybody's going through there. The chance of us getting it is high. It is. It's a crazy world we live in, and I've, su I've, su I've successfully stayed unsick the whole time and i've you know i feel pretty good about it <laughs> like and the reason i've stayed safe is by staying home and not traveling yep i've not knock on wood exactly i've had no scares i oh get this so i was talking to my doctor today because i did that little appointment earlier and my doc told me that the reason rates are going up is because no one's requiring kids and sports teams to wear masks. None of them. It's not regulated. They're just not wearing them. Riddle me that. Like, no kids. None. Because it's, it's unsafe to run with a mask on. It could catch on someone. You might have an asthma attack. None. Kill, that makes me really happy. Apparently, that's what's happening in my state. I work retail all the time, Katie, and went to see my grandma. I was afraid of it, but she's fine at least and doesn't have COVID. She has dementia back problems. Oh, her husband of 55 years divorced her? What the fuck? Artistic Dipsy, right? Like, I'm just, I want to teach all my family how to use Zoom. Like, I need to teach my family how to use Zoom or FaceTime or something. So I don't feel like I'm not seeing them. Good job, Knives. Like, I don't want to be part of that spike, you know? I could risk it. Republican dad voice. For masker infringing on my constitutional rights. Blah, blah, blah. My freedoms. <laughs> oh, I've heard it. It's... Your freedoms only go as so far as you're not imposing on someone else's freedoms. By the way, while I'm chugging and waiting for the dog to devour his meal, what state do you live in? Colorado. I'm like in the middle. I'm a square state. Literally, it's a perfect square. Like in the southwest middle-ish. With water and fresh pineapple. Ooh, I love pineapple. Oh, it's unripe. You know how you can tell a pineapple's ripe? Someone taught me this. If you're in the store, smell the base of the pineapple. If it smells sweet, it's ripe. Really, MMO? That's... I wouldn't let my kid go. I'm sorry. I don't care how mad my kid was. Um, I don't want my kid to get COVID and die. Or be on a ventilator that could, you know, cripple their breathing the rest of their life. And... You know, their diaphragm and things. Just little things. I mean, glut, fuck it. You just eat that part. Or bring it home and kill me. Or kill Zeke's 91-year-old grandmother who smokes cigarettes still. Like... Is that a risk I want to take? Not, no. Honest, absolutely not. Do I want to visit his family and meet some cool bitches? Yes. Meet his brother? Fuck yes. Kill old ladies? Mm-mm. Cheers. Vissy, they'll probably intubate you. So what they do usually for surgeries is they use this special kind of intubation device called an LMA. <coughs> it's a... Man, I don't even remember what it stands for. It's just called an LMA. And it's like an intubation tube, but at the end that will be in the base of your throat, it kind of looks like a weird rubber vagina. And it just separates your glottis. So you won't like aspirate while you're in surgery, but it doesn't go down into your lungs or anything. And it's so they can work 
through your nose because that'll block that air passageway, you know? Look it up. L-M-A. I don't remember what it stands for, but it's something. And that's usually what they use for surgeries for people that don't need to be intubated for like extremely long periods of time. But you'll probably be intubated because they want to make sure you're still breathing, especially because they're fucking with an airway. Anytime they fuck with or around an airway. Laryngeal mask airway. Is that what it's really called? Interesting. Oh, yeah. I guess it masks your laryngeal area. Sure. Of course, Vissy. They will take very good care of you. I was that RT. You don't get dumb RTs in surgery. You either get a top-notch surgical respiratory therapist or you're going to get a fucking um, anesthesiologist and they're paid big bucks for a reason. You'll have someone there literally watching every single second of you breathing. They're paid just, I was paid just to stand and make sure you breathe at 100%. Approximately six, 600 USD uh, from Norway. That's insanely cheap. Like, that's a lot of money, but that's insanely cheap for flying from the, U the EU to Denver. But, bitch, let me come see you. Unless you really want to see Denver, I really want to see where you live, too. I mean, we could do it both ways. If we can ever travel again, I want to come see you so bad. And the cool thing, literally the reason we live in Denver is because of travel, which we can't do now. Fuck you, COVID. We moved here because it's a huge international airport and flights to and from here are fast and usually very inexpensive. That's what I was saying, Chachi. Like, I could fly out to visit you and then we could both fly to Denver. I'd be down. I've never been to Norway. I have a lot of friends in that area. If you wouldn't mind us going and visiting people that I've never got to meet before <laughs> that to me are not that far away. I know to you guys, it's like the end of the world, but to me, it's not that far of a trip. And the, oh dude, Taz, did you see that they're like, they're trying to push Trump to prove where he put all the loans he pulled out. I'm really excited to see where he dumped all that money. Really excited. Honestly, very excited. Stoked even. <clears throat> yep, MMO. I that's what I tried. That was the goal of going to TwitchCon EU. We were going to the TwitchCon, but then we were staying an extra 10 days because we have so many cool community members that live in the EU that I mean who the fuck makes enough money to travel? Let's be honest. N nobody. Traveling's expensive, so it would have been like a twofer for us. It was dope. And that all got fucked up. That was, seems like so long ago, but it really wasn't that long ago. Chachi, take a deep breath of that cold air. One of his sights, his sights, like the orange dick fuck. I'm surprised he hasn't had a heart attack. I've said that a couple times. Unless he legitimately is that much of a narcissist he, or a sociopath, he actually doesn't care. He's just like blabbing to be weird, which is possible. Dude, I'd be surprised if Melania is still in the country right now. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she rigged the election to go the other way. That poor money grubbing hoe. And by poor, I mean pathetic. I don't feel bad for a woman that stayed married to that monster. I would have left so fucking fast. The crazy ones are still going. 